part of how we often tell and teach the the Montgomery bus boycott story is a story of two people. It's a story of Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King. And somehow that turns into a boycott. And what we can see here, how it took so many different people to both turn this act into even a one day boycott, because we want to remember it's a one day boycott they call for the the Women's Political Council, which is a Black women's group in Montgomery that had been organizing. And we get to see more of that in the documentary if you watch the full thing. Um, had been organizing before this, and they leap into action that night after she's arrested. And we and Joanne Robinson, who's the head of the Women's Political Council, runs off 35,000 leaflets that say another woman has been arrested on the bus. It doesn't say Rosa Parks has been arrested on the bus. It says another woman. And that's because what we're seeing is the accumulation of outrage, right? Claudette Colvin had been arrested in March. Mary Louise Smith had been arrested in October. And even before that, there had been a trickle of people, including a trickle of women. So we have the role that women are playing in terms of bus resistance themselves. We have the the Women's Political Council, who is who calls that one day boycott. And then I think another lesson in this is the ways that that action begets a change in vision. So it's that night when people feel the power of that day, that they change this one day boycott into an ongoing boycott. And I think that, again, is a really important thing for students to understand, is that idea that that in some sense, being in motion changes what you can imagine is possible. 